kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. Just before we go any further, I'd like to say this was a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So I have Sony Vegas open, I've already done a recording and this is what we're going to do typography to. Kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. So as you can see, I was talking much slower than I normally do, simply because if you talk slower, this is going to be easier for you. If you talk fast, it's going to be pretty difficult to sync everything up. So the first thing you need to do is head over to Media Generators. If you don't see it, then simply come to View, Windows Layout, and select Default Layout. From there, come all the way down and come to Legacy Text. Now, as you'll see, we get these different texts here, and you can just pick one that you like. Even if you come to Titles and Text over here, as you can see, we have ones that already are animated for us. Just like this. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to use dropping words first. I'm just going to drag and drop this right at the start. Simply what we have to do is play through and listen to the words I say. So kinetic. So like first word is kinetic. So I'm going to come here and type in kinetic. I'm going to do all of this in capitals. Of course you don't have to. I'm going to press control A and I'm going to be changing the text to a font I like. So I'm going to use an impact for this and I'm just going to position this like so and I'll put it a bit bigger. There we go. So my next word is typography. I'm actually going to start this at the bottom and you'll see everything will look better when it's done. So this is what's going to happen. Kinetic typography. So the text is going to drop in and we need to now get to the next word. Kinetic and this is where I start it. So I'm going to right click insert a new video track. This time I'm not going to use the drop in words. I'm going to come to legacy text and I'm going to add on the default one. And I'm going to call this one typography because that's what the next word was. I'm going to press control A. Um, you can choose the same font throughout, but you can also change. You don't have to, but I'm going to use the same one, which is impact. And again, I need to position this. This time we have to come to placement and position this. So if I come across my timeline, I can see where the text drops and I can put it there. So now, as you'll see, kinetic typography. Now I'm going to right click insert another video track and first of all we need to find where the next word is so typography and it's actually starting here so in in Sony so I say in and then Sony Vegas and you can see I actually said in and Sony Vegas quite fast like they're joint words but we're going to separate them so I'm going to add the default text on again so this time I say in and again I'm going to put my same font I've been using the entire time which is impact we're going to come to placement and I'm actually going to place this down here and I'll make it bigger from properties and put the scaling up. There we go. And now the next thing uh, we need to find where I say Sony in so right here. So Sony's right here, right click, insert another new video track, add on the default text again. And this time I say Sony, so I'm going to put in Sony, control A, use my font impact as always, and I will put this uh, scaling up a lot more because it's really small and place it at the top left and then of course we need to fit in Vegas which is going to go probably up here in Sony Vegas so I say Vegas right here so again right click insert another new video track add on the default text and this time I'm just going to press ctrl a and put in Vegas and again using the same font which is impact there we go placement and I'll put that right here. Now, we are actually done with putting the text out, but we of course we need to animate everything. Of course, Kinetic already has the animation, but everything else, as you'll see. Kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. It, everything just pops up. We need to add some animation to make this look better. We're going to head over to Transitions. Again, if you don't see the Transitions tab, then simply come to View, Windows Layout, and select Default Layout. And the first one I'm going to use is on 3D Blinds, and I'm going to use the Spin on the typography text. So this is what this effect will be. Typography. Like that. And now I'm just going to look through different uh, stuff I can use and I'll just implement them in. Okay, so the next one we use is push up and this is for in. And then for Sony Vega or Sony, it's quite big here. I'm going to use a linear wipe. Okay, so as you can see, I have linear wipe opened. Uh, the text is coming or is placed at the top left. So maybe look for a diagonal transition here drag and drop this on and uh, yeah that looks nice and then of course the Vegas text 
let's see what we can put on. I'm going to keep the Vegas text simple where it says Vegas. I'm just going to use a simple push uh, to the left and put that in here. So if we play this through, everything might not be synced up now because we've added all these transitions, but let's just see what we've got. Kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. So as you can see, everything was pretty much slower. So we need to come here and sync everything up. So typography. Now we need to uh, drag typography back because it's coming in really slow. There we go. So now if we play this. Kinetic typography. There we go. And this is where you need to play with the settings yourself. In. This is where I say in. So in needs to be on the screen literally now. There we go. So typography in Sony Vegas. A bit more quicker here. Graphy in Sony Vegas. And now Sony needs to come in quicker, so we're going to put that back a bit. Graphy in Sony Vegas. Graphy in Sony Vegas. And of course, Vegas also needs to come in quicker. So typography in Sony Vegas. Typog. Okay, Vegas, uh, Vegas probably needs to come in the exact same time as Sony. So typography in Sony Vegas. Nope, Sony needs to come in quicker. Typography in Sony Vegas. I'm actually going to shorten the transition on in here because it's literally messing up for us. So typography in Sony Vegas. Now it's too quick. Typography in Sony Vegas. And there we go. So as you can see, I've had to sync everything up here with the transitions. So just be aware of that. When you do put the transitions on, everything will not be synced up. You will need to play around with it. As you can see, I've shortened the length of the transitions for the push and the Sony and the Vegas, as you can see. So let's just play it through. Kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. Just like that. And the last thing I'm going to show you is adding a background. First of all, I'm just going to line everything up and shorten it all down so everything is the same length. So we need to right click and insert some of the video track. Of course, it has to be behind or underneath the text this track does. And now come over to media generators and come to solid color. Of course, you don't have to use solid color. You can use your own background you have. But for example, I'm going to use this and let's add a cyan here. I'm going to go with a bit of a darker cyan. There we go. X out of this, line this up, and let's play it through one more time with the background. Kinetic typography in Sony Vegas. As you can see, adding a background, it just looks so much more better. And um, yeah, as you'll see, most uh, kinetic typographies you'll see probably have a brighter background, and with white text, it does turn out really nice. Now I'm going to show you a few more tips that you can make use of. So number one, I'm going to show you how to make shapes. So I'm going to control C and control V on the background here. And the way you make shapes, if you come to the event pan and crop, and then you select mask, you can either use the pen tool, which means you'll be able to create a custom shape like that. Or you can come here and you can see it's a rectangle tool. Even though it's a rectangle, we can draw out a perfect square. We can draw out a straight line. We can draw out a line going down and you can really make good use of this. So you can make lines like this and you can have them all the way across the screen like that. And of course, the final thing you have is an oval tool. And again, you can have this super wide. You can have it like a proper circle or you can have it super stretched out. So now I'll be showing you how to make these shapes move. So we're going to left click and we're going to drag out a line and I'm going to drag out a line on the top as well like this. And I'm going to position these so they look even on the screen. And I'm going to X out of this. And this is what we have. As you can see, it's just still. And for this, we're going to use the event pattern crop. Or of course, you can use track motion. Come up to position and we're going to start this off screen. Change this over here so it's in the Y only. So your icon looks like this, which means we can only move left and right. So I'm going to drag this off screen. Then I'm going to come across all the way to the end. I'm going to right click and restore. And if we play this through, as you can see, that happens. Now I'm also going to add text here so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to right click, insert another video track, come to media generators, add on a legacy text and I'm doing the default text again. And this time I'm just going to, I'll just type in slider since it's on a slider. I'm going to use the same font, which is impact. Uh, one thing, what tip I actually recommend using here, use the same color as the border here. 
So I'm going to use a similar color here, like this. And now, first of all, I am going to position this uh, right on these runners or this slider. So I'm going to use the track motion for this. I think it's the easiest and the best thing to use. I know it's not on all versions of Sony Vegas, so for those that don't have track motion, you all have to use the event pan and crop. But what I recommend doing, take off sync cursor, come across on your video so you can see where the lines are, drag and drop this right there so you can see where it's actually on line. All I'm going to do is line it up to the end which is right there. I'm going to now sync cursor and I'm going to drag this to the end up here, like that. So as you'll see, this is what's going to happen. It's going to slide like that. Now it doesn't move quite fast so I'm going to change this one and I'm actually going to put this one off screen. So if we play this, as you can see they are sliding in together. Very simple, very easy to do. And if we extend the background here, or the lines, and play this through, as you'll see it's going to extend, extend, and then just stop. And it gives the impressions that these lines are moving and with this you can be very creative and create more text so you can have text coming after slider you can have text coming from the top you can have text coming from the bottom and you just play around with it and be creative now one last thing i'm going to show you before i forget is how to actually rotate your text so you can use track motion for this very simply if you open up track motion you select this which enables the rotation and then you can see this circle come here and get this icon rotate your text however you want to another way you can do it come to the event pan and crop zoom out by using the mouse wheel as you'll see you'll get this icon and again you can just spin your text however you would like to but that's it for this video that is how simple it is to do kinetic typography in sony vegas you will have to be patient and just play around with the settings like i mentioned at the start if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on twitter thank you so much for watching please subscribe rate and peace